Hello and welcome to this demonstration of the WinTPS Plant or Production Program from BBL System. WinTPS Plant is a complete tuxedo company rental production system. It keeps track of all of your inventory and lets you know at a glance where your inventory is, whether it's out with a customer or whether it's out at a wholesale account. It keeps track of all billing for you, so if you have your own company store, it keeps track of the uh, sales and billing for the customers. Uh, it can also be used in a wholesale environment and it can create invoices uh, for charging your wholesale accounts. In this video we're going to skim over some of the key functions within the program. Now in this video we're going to talk about the production process, all the steps that you need to go through to actually produce your tuxedo orders. The first thing I'm going to do is I want to get a list or find out if any orders have been put into the system uh, for the week in question that we're going to use that uh, maybe some of the items may have been forced through because at the time the order was entered there was an indication that the size of the item that was needed was not available. What I'm going to do is go to rental production and I'm going to click this button here called check over bookings. Now I'm going to be working with the last week of February. So I'm going to make my starting date range here February 22nd and my ending date February 28th. And I'll click on search. Now here's an item right here. This style coat here is showing a 40 short and it's in an overbook situation. It says there's already one in use. I don't own any of this particular coat. So now, I can make the choice. If I want to, I could just mark this item to be subrented by clicking here. And then the system will ask me which of my suppliers do I want to subrent this coat from. Or I have the option of substituting a different size for this item on the order. That's what I'm going to do in this case. So I'm going to select the item and go down here to the, click on the Booked Orders button. Here's the actual order that contains the item that was overbooked. In this case it was the coat. I'll click on the order line here and click on show order. We'll go to the coat line and here's the 40 short. Let's say we change that to a 40 regular. And then in the item notes we'll put a note in to have somebody raise the sleeves half an inch. Then I'll click on save. Now it's taking me to the payment screen but no payment is actually due in this case so I'll just click on cancel. Now if that 40 regular wasn't available it would have popped up another window saying that the 40 regular wasn't available either. In which case I could have either made again made the decision to substitute it for yet a different size or to have it subrented. Now if I refresh this search by hitting the search button again we can now see that for that date period there are now no longer any items that have been overbooked. So I'll click on done. So that's how you check for overbooked items. Now we're going to move on to the next step in the production process and that's what we call printing picking tickets. Uh, picking ticket is a sheet of paper that contains all the items that you need to get together, walk through your warehouse and pull and assemble together for each order. And now to do that we're going to choose rental production, then we're going to choose print picking tickets. Now here we're going to put in the same date range that we were working with earlier, February the 22nd through February the 28th. Click on search. And now the system tells us here now that there are three orders that need to be assembled during that date period. I'll go down here and click on the print button. And we're going to have the picking ticket go to the screen so that you can see it on this video. Now here is a typical 
Picking Ticket. This is the picking ticket that comes standard with the WinPOS program, although we have many other different formats available. Uh, the picking ticket shows you a picking ticket number at the top along with the barcode that represents that same number. You can see where the tuxedo, where the order needs to be shipped to, the pickup and assemble on dates, the name of the customer, the order number along with another barcode that represents the order number. Then down below here you'll see all the items that actually make up this order. So that's a picking ticket. Now we'll go ahead and we'll close this window. And that picking ticket is then used to, like I say, to walk around your store and you pull the coat that's on the picking ticket, you pull the pant, you pull the shirt, and you put all those items together in one place, something what we call marrying the order together. So once you have the individual items brought together, you then need to assemble the tuxedo. And that's the next step in the production process. The assemble orders process is where you go into the program and actually tell the Wooden TPS program that the specific coat, pant, shirt, tie, vest, or cummerbund is married together, is actually assembled together. So we're going to go here to assemble orders. Now the system does utilize a lot of barcodes and you'll notice if you remember in the picking ticket video there you saw that the picking ticket had a barcode that represented the order number. Now if I had a barcode scanner here I could simply take that picking ticket, scan the order number into the order number field, it would pop up in here looking like this, and then hit the enter key, and now the assemble order screen populates with the items on that order. Now the system also uses barcodes for keeping track of your inventory. Now in our system here we have barcodes assigned to all coats, pants, shirts, and shoes. Our ties and our cummerbunds do not have barcodes on them. So at this point this is where I would go to the the coat, for example, here, and in the serial number field that's flashing here, I would actually scan the barcode in the coat that I pulled off the rack to fill this order with. Now, since I don't have that in front of me, I'm just going to use the lookup button, and I'm going to pick the first one on the list. So there's the serial number. So now I have assigned now that specific coat to this order. I'll do the same thing for the pants, for the shirt. The ties and the cummerbunds are non-tracked items. So we'll just hit mark assembled for those two. Finally the shoe, we'll scan the barcode in the shoe. I'll actually pick it here. And there we go. Now, the order just disappeared, indicating that that entire order has now been assembled. So now the status on that order has gone to uh, a status that indicates that the item, the order, has been put together. And I would just go through the same process for all the orders that are, that have had all the pieces brought together and I'm going to assign the barcodes for each one of those items to each one of these orders. So that's the assemble orders function. We'll continue this video now following that same order that we've been working with that we just assembled a few moments ago. What we're going to do now is go through the pickup process. Uh, the point of sale program here, the video you may have seen prior to this one, showed uh, briefly how to mark items picked up. Uh, that is to say when an order is being picked up from the customer uh, and when it's returned. We'll go into a little more detail here in this video on that process. Now that order that we just assembled and, and or the order we just assembled a few moments ago, that was an order for our own company's store. So when we assembled it, it changed the status on that order to a status of received, meaning it's now in the waiting room at our store, waiting for the customer to come back in and pick it up. So what we're going to do is we're going to mark that order picked up now by clicking on the pickup button. Now here the cursor is flashing on the order number field, and again, I can scan the barcode of the order number that's still hanging on the assembled tuxedo. 
here I need to type it in. And when I do that down here at the bottom of the screen here it shows the customer's name, it shows the order number, it actually shows an amount due on the ticket. So the customer will need to pay their balance before we let them walk out the door with this. But the system will automatically detect that. So if I click on pick up orders here now, you see the program automatically takes us to the payment screen where the customer can now make their final payment. So we'll say they're giving us the balance of their account here in cash, $57. Save the payment, click on next. It asks us if we want to print a receipt and then the system will print out a receipt for that customer which you can then give to the customer. And that's marking an order picked up. Now, let's say a few days have passed and now the customer is bringing the tuxedo back to you. Now, Usually when they bring the tuxedo back they're not, they may not have that order number, they may not have that packing slip on the order at that point anymore, but it's okay since we're using tracked items, meaning since we're using serial numbers on all the main items in the tuxedo, we can check in the order simply by scanning the barcode in the coat and the system will know what the order number was and who rented that order. So if we go here and click on the return button and we'll say the, uh, the shop person there takes the coat and they scan the barcode from the coat. Now the barcode number let's say is two zero one nine three eight two seven. When I type that in then suddenly boom the program knows all of the order because remember back when we assembled the order we scanned the barcodes then we assigned all those specific items to the order. So this is how the program knows that uh, everything from that order is all made up here. Uh, here I would just check off these boxes to say whether each item is present or not. The coat, the pant, the shirt, the tie, the cummerbund, and the shoe. Now I could also hit the check all button if they were all here. Now if you had a situation where maybe something part of the order didn't come back, let's say the customer didn't bring the bow tie back, the system can be set up in such a way that if you didn't check the barcode or if you didn't check the checkbox for the bow tie, you can have the system automatically create a sales ticket for the customer. Uh, you have to have the uh, replacement cost entered in the, the, into the inventory in the system, which is easy to do. So then the program would then automatically generate a sales ticket and it would charge, it would create the sales ticket so that you could then charge the customer for the missing item. Uh, but this example here we're just going to say that everything is here so I click on the return button and there it is. Now the tuxedo has been marked back into the store. Now we have many other options here in addition to this. Uh, we have laundry options in the program where you can have the program configured to automatically mark items to go out to laundry whenever they're returned from a customer. Uh, there's an entire laundry tracking process within the system so you can always tell where a particular item is whether if it's out with the customer or if it's in the store or if it's out in your laundry. It's very easy to tell with all of these tools that we supply. In this video we've touched really only on the major key functions within the WinTPS plant program. However, there are a great many different functions and features that we didn't cover there's a vast amount of reporting capability in the program. Many, many reports that you can run on all kinds of different things pertaining to your tuxedo rental business. This video has really just scratched the surface of what the WinTPS plant program is capable of. So if you have any other questions on the WinTPS program or if you would like a personal demonstration, please don't hesitate to contact us at 800-587 7277. We're open Monday through Friday, 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Eastern Time. Thank you for your time.